Hi everyone, I'm Lisa with Candles by Sincerely Ice Blue. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about making candles, selling candles, and everything in between. Whether you're just getting started or you've been doing this a while or you just have an interest in those things, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and become part of the community. I'd love to chat with you. We're going to be talking about testing, one of the most important things you need to do as a candle maker. As beautiful as our candles might look, they have to burn just as beautifully. And as you'll see in today's video, it doesn't always come out the way you want it to. We're doing three different sizes. We have a six ounce, a seven ounce, and a nine ounce. All three candles were made several weeks ago and they were made with wax from American Soy Organics. I use their Freedom Soy Wax, which is 100% soy. The wicks that we used were generic wicks that I had purchased from Amazon. In the past, these wicks have given us no problem at all, even with the same wax. We got some different results and they did not go as we wanted them to at all. So let's take a look at what happened. Here we are on burn test three. It has been three hours. And you can see all three candles have tunneling. So that tells me these wicks are absolutely no good that I was using. This is the white one. Uh, the first one, it started out yesterday where the melt pool reached all sides. Today, it's tunneling. And then there's my problem child of the square jar. And you can see that the wick on the right is now starting to drown out. And there is not a full melt pool, even all the way to the corners. So yesterday we just had the melt pool in this area not reaching and we had the tunneling. But now, as you can see, the corners up here on this side are also doing the same thing. So that's what happened. Not so much fun. And like I said, this is the importance of testing. You have to do the burn testing because we've used these wicks before in the same vessels with the same wax. And wow, we got entirely different results this time. And they were not wonderful results. I'm not pleased by them at all by any means. Some of the things were, we did notice that we only did an 8% fragrance load on these candles. And the cold throw really wasn't that great. The hot throw was not at all. On the square candle, that one had the best hot throw of them all. I had that one burning out in the kitchen area and it was, it was okay, but it really wasn't great. It's not what I want. And you could see that all three of those candles just really did not hold up. There was tunneling in all of the candles. There was wicks being put out. We didn't reach full melt pool ever on any of the three candles, which was very, very, very disappointing. I still have them burning now. We decided to do a power burn. So I lit those candles this morning and we're just going to let them go. The blue candle and the clear small one actually made it till after lunch. I was surprised that there was also a decent hot throw off of the square candle which is the nine ounce size. Not a fabulous hot throw, but more so than our second and third and first burn tests. What that tells me is the fragrance, we probably did not stir the fragrance in well or long enough. And there's pockets of fragrance now within that mixture. I'm gonna have to take the other candles we made in that batch now out of my stock to sell them. And I'm going to do some more burn testing with them to see how they are with the other fragrances that we used. So overall, disappointment. It happens. It happens. Making candles is a science. I was never good in science at school. <laughs> I was not a good science person and not a good math person. That's my husband's part of this business. But together, we work through it and, and kind of figure it out. And don't get discouraged. If you make a batch of candles and they're not fabulous, that's okay. Go again. What was off? Note your changes. And there's the other thing. Document, document, document. If I didn't take notes, I would have no idea what batch that was from. I would have no idea 
what fragrance I use. I might not know where to adjust it or what went wrong. Obviously, an 8% fragrance load is terrible. That wick did not work. I'm going to have to switch to the other brand of wicks that we received from Flaming Candle. I'll let you know in the next couple of weeks how those work out. We're going to be making some candles this weekend with them. And that's it. Test, 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 test. Don't get discouraged. Don't get frustrated. No, it's all part of the process. It's all part of running a candle business. And it's all part of the fun. So that's it. That's all I got. That's it. That's where we're at today. Next testing hopefully goes better. We'll see. In the meantime, if you enjoyed following along, learning about that burn testing, drop me a comment below, subscribe to our channel. Let me know how your burn testing has gone, especially if you're using that Freedom Soy Wax. What have you found out that works? What doesn't work? Any recommendations? I'd love to hear them. Let's chat. Let's share stories. Let's learn from each other in this community and be supportive. And until next time, live your dreams out loud and keep making candles. Talk to you.